There's another character type that wasn't in, in the last version. It's biped dogleg guide. So if you come in here and um, it's just like the biped guy, got all the same features in there, but you also have uh, dogleg basically, is you got an extra control in here. And if if you run it, everything's gonna work exactly the same. But you unrig from biped dogleg guide. S almost the same options, except it makes a dogleg. And so for doing uh, dinosaurs, for doing uh, werewolves, for doing uh, walking animal, you know, animals walk like humans, for doing uh, I don't know what. There's lot. There's lots. They come up a lot. Video games. There's lots of dogleg guys in video games because they, you know, like evil, evil things, uh, tend to have those kind of <laughs> like demons. Or okay, so if we take this, and uh, so what's what's the big change? Okay, well the big change is three bones here. The other big change is there's extra controller here. So this controller, still doing the role. Everything's still behaving exactly the same, except this controller is controlling the distribution between the different elements on the dog leg. And so that's really nice because your character can be walking and then it can step in and then that can really come in and thrust forward. And it also has a locking point. So if we go look at our um, at the controls, you know, remember the top level on our, our and it makes a biped dog leg, there's a control slider. It's got different control sliders. So these control sliders, one of them is a, a, a locking percentage. So if I rotate this forward, uh, I can go in, and that's the left. So that would be the left lock percentage. I can make look. I, if I go to one, that lock percentage is absolutely straight. Now it won't let you break the dog leg. I mean, no dog leg in nature can snap past that point, so it puts a limit there. But you can control the amount that it goes forward. So you can you can make it, uh, you know, a lot lower, like a like a like a bear or a dog or something. You can make an ostrich, you know, if you watch some of these animal videos, it's pretty cool. Uh, an ostrich has a very high one. You know, an ostrich, you're, you're really getting up there. They can they can almost go, f I mean, there's got to be some meat or tissue in there holding this thing together, but they go forward quite far. So the other thing on the, uh, so there's that, and then there's also, uh, there's a bunch of little tricks with the dog leg that I might as, might as well show now because seems like the right moment uh, rather than having to be some kind of thing later is you can go in here and um, you can well let's unhide the rig so if I, I take this rig and I un unhide all the hidden stuff you can see there's a whole bunch of controls on here so here's all the the secret stuff on the dog leg the dog leg is as you twist this around oops as you twist this around you'll see that it partially falls the orientation of the foot and it partially falls the plane of the up vector that's the controlling the dog leg. And that's controlled by two point constraint on here. So if you go on this object, what's it called? Last bone up V. So if you go take that object and, and you slide its constraint around, you're gonna have control over over a little detail like that. Like if you want it to absolutely fall the foot, you put it to zero percent. And then the last bone banks perfectly with the foot. If you put it up to one, the last bone uh, locks perfectly with the up vector, which kind of looks funny. You know, 50 is 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 pretty good actually, but you know, it's your call. And this is something you can animate and change. The other thing that's on there is if you look, you can find the uh, the dog leg uh, IK operator here on the on these nulls. Ding! And if you click on here, this is more of the expert kind of stuff. You've got some offsets against that up vector. So you can go on here and on the role plane, it's like your, it's like your role I showed earlier on the IK. Except you got two planes. You got the the global role plane, and then you've got a second role. That's the role of that twisting, twisting part at the bottom. So you've got two planes of role on your dog leg, and and a single up vector, just to keep things simple. Okay, yeah, and all the all the standard stuff works on this. You know the the offsets and the rolls and everything is exactly the same. 